Fine. How about oh. that? Hi, welcome to the Women's Cave. Actually, yeah, I lied. It's podcast. the Ladies' Tale podcast, and that's what I get for trying to take it out of one woman's mouth. Well, it's such a cute little mouth today. I let her to like, no. Oh my God. So wait, wait, if you can oh start off gosh. with teeth whitening, I can start off with how cute oh my, my mouth is. No, I can't. I can't let you do it, Wilnona. I'm Jade, though. And I'm Wilnona. I can't, oh. I can't let you just do I can't. I can't. That's okay, no, my no. joke. It's wait, my wait. joke. You she can't should do allow my me joke. to do this because she just yanked our very branded flask out of my hand before this started. I was about to have me some scotch. It was not whiskey. It was scotch. Some nice Scotland scotch. Thank you, Scotland, for that. Um, <laughs> first and foremost. I'm gonna just let you continue to talk because you have lipstick on your teeth. So that's fabulous. And it makes me feel better on the inside that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, people. Moving on. We wrote okay. books. So we wrote literary life guides with pop poetry, right? So, and I thought divorce was bad with other life lessons. And I thought being grown up was easy. And I thought I did my journey alone. Oh, and yeah. if only I were me, okay, all of that is available on like Amazon, Bunzo, you know, just, just check it out, right? You just find out everything your ladies are doing on www.andwethought.com. Hey, can I, I, I took it because I need to ask this uh, question. Can I, can we do the crazy, stupid joke? Corny no, joke? I'm not doing the corny joke today. I'm skipping it. So no corny joke. Okay. Is that one? Cause that was that looks fabulous, Jack. I'm, I'm sorry. Back. Uh, we're, we're back to Tanya. Yeah, Tanya, our co-host today, Tanya. Hi, I'm Tanya Todd. I'm an author, actress, and screenwriter from Las Vegas. Thank you. Thank you. And no one is here to hear us drawing on about like our lives and what's I going on. I think they wouldn't mind if they, I told them about my makeup routine, but that's okay. Everyone would mind, including <laughs> me. Everyone. <laughs> everyone take involved. Take my line. Go ahead, take my line. Yeah, so wonderful guest. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Jack Rose, and I'm a singer-songwriter from England, as you can probably tell from my accent. Um, yeah, I come from London and I write music. That's fabulous. See, I, like, I feel smarter every time we have like an English accent in the room. I'm like, I think by most osmosis, I'm smarter, right? Uh, I thought that was <laughs> until yesterday. I called a reporter from the BBC and uh, yeah, we had a conversation. Nope, nope, I didn't get any smarter. Anyway, let's move on and talk about Jack. <laughs> Jack, first of all, wait, where in London has beautiful hills? None of my business. Oh, I don't live in London. I live on a. I live in a place outside of it now called Kent. Oh, cool. <laughs> nice. We nice. just thought maybe we didn't see it. We were like, oh, okay. Because so there's were, a ton. We were doing like touristy things. So. No, yeah, we, were, I, we were working. I go, I go all over the country as well. I go to Scotland, Wales, Ireland, everywhere. So. That is cool. Is there a sunshiny part of England? Um, there has been the past few days. It's been a decent temperature for Britain anyway. But there isn't a sunny part of England, no. If you come to England, you're most likely going to get rained on. Oh, never mind. I'm not coming Sounds back. Sounds amazing. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm in Vegas. We have plenty of sunshine here. I like clouds and rain. It's because you live in Vegas, so it doesn't count. When Switch it's all you've had for 18 years, you get used to it, so. Oh, God. I just can't do it. I know, I'm sorry. I'm so, like, sorry. We, okay, we're anyway, we're supposed to ask real now questions. Now we shall ask real questions, mm -hmm. Jack. Besides, um, is that wine? And can we have some? Besides that question, we'll ask real questions. <laughs> so how did you get started in your career? Um, I was just young. I was like, I'd say I was about seven or eight years old and I just loved music. I used to do karaoke in my sisters all the time. Um, it would always be like high school musical and stuff like that. Because um, I, I grew up listening to musical theatre and I went to several performing arts schools and um, just doing stuff that's on the West End and Broadway. And um, it sort of just gave me the confidence to start writing and like doing my own music. And when I got to about the age of 13, I just thought, do you know what? Let, let's just try and do this for real. And that's, you know, I've worked and I've got myself to where I am now. It's... I would still love to be a lot more than what I am now, but. I think we all would, right? I know Just, I would, a little bit more than we all. But I wanted to talk about, um, what did you start writing? Did you just start writing songs? Did you start from like, I want to write novels? Or did you want to write poetry? Please say poetry so it'll make us seem cool. Um, I think that songwriting is sort of like poetry anyway. Because even, yeah, yeah, cool. even if you're reading lyrics like about the music, like, okay, this actually sounds pretty nice. Like some, not every song, every song it'd be a little bit like, if it worked, poetry, but there's certain songs you listen to that do work. So I sort of think of it as like poetry and storytelling in a sort of way. I 
agree. So, I, did you start writing songs to tell uh, your own story or to tell other people's story or just to just write? I originally started writing music just because I thought, why not? Let's just start trying to write music. And I'm not going to lie, I wasn't great at it when I first started. And I'm still learning loads of stuff now. But but what inspires the music and, and the lyrics that you write? Um, anything, really. Literally, it could be the way a tree... I'm just using stupid analogies here. Um, so, like, the way a tree blows in the wind or, like, a type of clothing or, like... It could literally just be about a table, anything like that, and it can just stay, like you can get an idea from anything. Like in this room with me right now, there's there's like plants, there's um China chi like China dolls and like everything. Like if I was to sit there and zone out, have a glass of wine with me, and I'll be able to just write. <laughs> so okay, so and that type of influence is very poetic. So <laughs> I can see yeah. that it does influence you. Yeah. And then, and then he keeps talking about this wine that I don't have. So I'm like, I'm sad about this. Like, I don't have any wine. Like, why do you keep talking about your wine? <laughs> Speaking of alcohol, there is a drink called a Jack Rose. Yeah, it's a cocktail, isn't it? Yeah, and it looks delicious. And I was going to ask you if that if you had if this is your stage name based on that, but you got your start so young. I really doubt you created a stage name about a no, cocktail Jack when you were a child. Name. Jack Rose is my real name. I'm named after my granddad. Uh, so, uh, so my dad's dad was called Jack or granddad. I can't remember. And then Rose is my real surname. And everyone at school was just like, oh, it's, it's Titanic because it's two. Oh, I yeah. Have... Oh, Jack and Rose. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. like, And then I just thought, there's not, I sort of go over the, like, the stage name, like JCK. It was a group I was in. And then it sort of, and then I just sort of went solo with it. And yeah, it's just sort of there that lingers, but my actual name when I perform and when I write anything is Jack Rose. So you have a single coming up. What can we expect from the single and the later album? Um, no album in the works yet, unfortunately. Um, I'd love to get an album done, but I'm just trying to get myself heard first because unless you're someone like Beyonce or Jay-Z or any big artist that you hear in the charts, there's no point in doing an album. Not even an EP? Nah, not even, like, maybe an EP, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do an EP because I could, I can push an album. But I'd rather wait until I've had that step up to release an album because there's no point in releasing something that you put your heart and soul in for it to not do as well as maybe someone who's bigger in the, in the music scene. But you already have a huge following. It surprises me that someone hasn't grabbed onto you to make that album. Yeah, like, I would, I would love to, but it's just about branching out even more. Like, I started doing music in, a, like, I used to do, like, the sort of teen, teeny pops sort of stuff when I was younger. And I'm sort of working my way up now to be, like, an R&B, pop R&B artist and a lot more grown-up stuff to what you'd hear people my age doing normally. Because um, I... My music is influenced by a bunch of American rappers, uh, R&B, R&B singers, everything. Like, for example? Well, uh, for example, like, I listen to people like, when it comes to like R&B, I like the sort of, it's not really R&B, but like early Justin Timberlake, mm -hmm. a bit of Mariah Carey, um, Alicia Keys, I listen to that sort of R&B. Um, and... Just loads of different rappers from all over America, like even if it's like just like the, the drill rappers or people that you'd hear on the radio or like the young kids that start rapping in school and they start releasing music, stuff like that. Like that's the sort of music I listen to anyway. And that's where I get all my, my ideas from. And even the track that I'm releasing has got, it's not an R&B sample, but it's got a sample from a big track in the 90s by Annie Lennox. Um, what's the song? It's like no, uh, um, no more. I love yous. I think it's called. But yeah, it's um, I'm I'm very influenced by a lot of R and B artists. Whereas I've always wanted to do it, but I was just put getting pushed in this direction that was like a complete tur a different turn to what I wanted to be. And now I'm getting to experiment with my sound, and I'm being able to get to do this, that, and the other with my sound. And now. I've evolved it into something that could potentially be good for me. 
So fingers That's, crossed. For that. Was that fun to like just be able to be you and basically pour yourself into this single, being able to do what you wanted to do? Was it fun for you even? Yeah, it, it, it was fun because um, normally whenever I release anything, my management or my team that are behind me have to get involved with everything, whether it's the music video, and whether it's the way I dress when I when I go out and do appearances, whether it's I have to go on stage and I get everything done. I have to choreograph everything. I have to make sure everything's perfect. Whereas with this single, my manager comes to me and was like, look, I'm going to hold back. You do what you want. You do get the video done. You write the treatment and everything. And um, yeah, me and one of my friends that I went to school with, and he's a cameraman, his name's Charlie Ralph. He's really, really good. Um, and we sort of came up with this video idea and we'd done it all, all ourselves and the end product to the video, my manager sat back and went, hats down to you, because we're both 18 years old, but we're both creative people. We've always been creatives. So I think that's what sort of helps. And now we sort of like, I help him with my, like I help him film stuff because I've got the right eye for it. So, yeah. Ooh. So um, are we going to be seeing you step into the filming? So is this a future? I would, say I'd, I would say I'd step into filming. No, I'd rather stay on the music side of everything. But I, I, I do like helping out and setting up lights and stuff like that and making sure the angles are right and stuff like that. I, lo I love it. So. Really? You okay. like to set? Okay, so if you're ever in the <laughs> okay. Let me explain. You can come wanna... on and come on and see us. We can set up our lighting for us and we'll give you like hot. Because I make us... <laughs> Make a great spot, I'm just saying. Or any other soul food that you'd like. Yeah, you soul food. Soul food is nice. Any, yeah. any type of what, sorry? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's okay. I, mean, I, can't I, can, I can't hear what no, you said. No, it's okay. It, it was us making a joke like, hey, if you set up our lighting, we'll feed you. Like, we'll give you, like, chicken and stuff. And be like, oh, yeah. go. Thank you for setting up our lighting. Eat some food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so... What do you what do you feel is okay? First, my first question is about getting to this point. Have there been many obstacles? Has it just been a lot of fun? Have you learned yeah, anything at this point? There have been so many obstacles, and it, it has been really fun. But I've had set I've had so many setbacks. Whether it's my exams at school, um, whether it's personal things going on in my life, um, there was a point in time where I, I just wanted to stop. I was just so upset about my music and everything because I wasn't getting my voice heard as much as I possibly could. And then all of a sudden people started recognizing my music and I started getting all these big people behind me and I was like, yeah, I, I want to carry on doing this. So, yeah. Isn't that like normally the way it works though, right? Like you're just so discouraged, you don't want to go on and then all of a sudden it just comes together and you're like, okay, this is what I've been working hard for all these years. Yeah. And then you get to work harder. <laughs> <laughs> well, true, true. So what advice would you have for anyone that wanted to follow in your footsteps? Don't, no, I'm joking. Don't, don't take that advice. Um, I'd say probably keep, keep on your grind and don't let anything put you down. Even if, even if you do, I don't know, for example, you start with a long-term girlfriend, write a song about it. Um, you have you have a disagreement, something happens in your life, like for example, your parents getting up or losing someone or something, put it into song, or put it into poetry or put it into whatever. If you, if you can portray your feelings into a song, um, that's what happens. It, it's, like this, it's like this gem of like something that's so, so specific to you and other people can feel what you're trying to say. Like with this song, it can mean it can mean many things. I've it's about an old relationship. Um, it's about me saying that I'm not. I was like I said, I was in a group and being in a group probably was a group of some of my own and stuff like that. So yeah. oh, can you repeat that? We kind of lost it a little bit. Where where from? Um, you were saying you were in a group and then kind of went out. Um, I sort of, um, I was in a group mm -hmm. and I just thought maybe, you know what, maybe I am better on my own, not in a group because I, I love, I love being the center of attention, if that makes sense. When it, <laughs> when it comes to being on stage, I don't want to be the person that's sort of in the background and everyone's like, 
oh, he's cool. But I want to be that person that's like, that, that one person there, he's, he's sick. Is that how you got the title for your new song? Better on my own, yeah, it's one of the reasons. It's also about, a, a, about an ex-girlfriend of mine. Really, really bad relationship I was in for two years. And yeah, that, it stemmed a lot of my most recent singles, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. There's I would like to ask you about someone that you love. You someone have an I enormous love. cat. I have an enormous cat, yes I do. My cat Boots, he is amazing. He did have- He's a very handsome. He is yeah. very, very handsome. He did have, we did have two cats, but the other one sadly passed away, um, had to get him put down. But yeah, no. Sorry I, about that. I, nice, right, I'm past it now. Um, but he's, he's cute, he was, a, he was a cutie, but there's no point in letting him suffer. Mm -hmm. he, he, he was blind, he, was, he had a tumor and everything. And we just didn't know until one day I come home and he just wasn't well. Mm -hmm. And we went to the vet and he had to be put down. So, and like, especially with this whole COVID-19 thing, it's something that put me down a lot because they were the only two people I really, the only two people, the only two things I interacted with. Right. We get that. We, we understand. I'm a cat person. Winona is, is a cat. cat. Ish, ish person. person. Tanya's a cat person. And, and yeah, you know, well, sometimes they feel like people. Yeah. yeah it's true. <laughs> Tanya's a cat person, which makes me happy. That's yeah. why we get along so well. That's why she's a co host. <laughs> <laughs> it was the cat. It was the cat. <laughs> um, Jack, what can we expect from you in the future if, you know, all goes to plan? If all goes to plan, um, hopefully I'll be top of the charts. <laughs> we would be excited. That, that's that's the uh, I want to I want to go on world domination. I just want to be heard. Like, <laughs> um, I like it. And maybe an album, maybe maybe a world tour. You never know. Anything could happen between now and ten, five, ten years. I thought you know I could ruin my vocal cords completely. Don't say but, that. Don't say that. No, you're you're gonna be fine. Uh, anything could happen. Anything's possible. <laughs> No, 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 no. Well, okay. No, you can even if you, you, even if you ruin your vocal cords, you'll be a world-renowned song writer. So, okay. still, right. still, you can still write songs and you can still act. Lighting extraordinaire. So, <laughs> yeah. you wrote the song and now you're doing the video. You're like you're setting up the lights. You're getting paid twice. I like it for you. Thank yeah, you. I do. I do. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jack, for taking this time. Are we oh, done? Yeah, I guess we are. So where can people like follow you, find out more about you? Well, you can follow me on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, Snapchat, everything, Jack Rose Real, or on Facebook, it's Jack John Rose, which is my full name. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'll, if, if someone was to follow me, I'll follow them back. If you want to drop me a message, drop me a message. I don't really mind, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm always up for talking with people, whether it's my fans, my friends, people who want to work with me, anything. So if you if you want to follow and you want to talk, just drop me a message. We would like to work with you. Mostly just walking the red carpet at your world, you know, at the beginning of the <laughs> album release party. Yeah, yeah cool. I want to work right then. Just that, that but seven understand, minutes. But understand, we're there for you, but really we're there for the food. Oh, good yeah. God. <laughs> we're, always, we're always there for the food. Oh, so, well, I'll, I'll be there for the food too. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule and coming on today. Everyone, follow him. Um, I made a mistake. I'm well, sorry. No, no, seriously? You're wearing a hat on your head. Can you tell us a bit about it? I'm yes. sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Wearing a hat on my head, can I tell you a bit about it? Um, I wear a hat because I hate my hair. <laughs> my hair's really thin. For a boy my age, I should have more hair, but like... I'm just, it's just really thin and long. I need a haircut. So, I don't, I don't, I don't it's, been, it's been hot today, so I've been sweating a little bit, but yeah, I've just been, just been working outside all day. And yeah, I was just, I'm just going to whack a hat on instead of doing my hair. I'd normally, I'd normally do my hair. Or I'd have put a hat on. I sort of normally alternate it, but I'm just sitting casually talking. So yeah, I thought I'd still make an effort. Yeah, thank you for making the effort. the effort. We really appreciate it. We like the hat. Yeah, so everyone check out Jack Rose on his on his Instagram and Facebook and everywhere. Listen to the single. Listen to the single, y'all. Let's make it go number one. Let's do it. September twenty fifth. 
September 25th. Let's do this thing. All right. Um, Tanya, where can people find out more about you? I am on social media at Ms. Tanya Todd, and my website is www.mstanyatodd.com. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I guess I'll just yeah, go ahead and wrap us up. So you can find out everything you ladies are doing on www.andwethought.com. While you're there, go down to the homepage and like see kind of what we have going on. But more importantly than all of that, please go to ladies tab, right? And go to the middle and see the charities that we probably support. Yes, we know it's 2020. And so money might not be a thing that you have because not a lot of people have it now in 2020, right? But you maybe have some extra time that you can volunteer to these people, or if not, maybe you can just drop them a nice line. We maybe at them on social media so they can know that you appreciate the good work that they're doing and give them a little bit of encouragement. We appreciate it in advance. And wisdom is all around you. If you're open to finding it and accepting it. So peace and love y'all for Winona and Jade and you, I guess, because we just, Close it out like that because you know, Lady's Hill doesn't have a thing. Thanks for listening. Oh my goodness, that's right. <laughs>